After the second explosion, the man went back upstairs, approached a soldier and screamed Allahu Akbar, Arabic for God is great. The soldier opened fire, killing him. Initial reports that the man might have been wearing a suicide belt proved to be unfounded. While the attack was successfully averted and Belgian authorities praised the soldier for his quick response it once again shone an uncomfortable spotlight on Belgium, a linguistically divided and politically fragmented country that has been used as a base by jihadists, many of whom have become radicalized there. Militants based in Brussels were linked to deadly attacks in and around Paris in November 2015 and bombings of an airport and subway station in Brussels in March 2016. More than 160 people died in those sets of attacks, for which the Islamic State claimed responsibility. A number of militants involved in the earlier attacks had roots in Morocco, including Abdelhamid Abayad, a ringleader of the Paris attacks who grew up in Belgium, Sal Abdeslam, one of the Paris attackers, Mohamed Abrini, who accompanied two suicide bombers in the Brussels airport attack, and Najm Lekraoui, a bomb maker who blew himself up at the Brussels airport. Mr. Abdeslam and Mr. Abrini are being held awaiting trial. About 100,000 people with Moroccan citizenship live in Belgium which has a population of 1.1 million. Moroccan Belgians are the country's largest minority group with roots outside the European Union. Belgium, 